Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I feel fresh, I feel like it's sunshiny out, I feel great, and then I'm staring at this package, which, oh, you guys, okay, I kinda already have a feeling how this is gonna go, but I spent so much money on this that we're just filming it anyway, I'm just doing it, I don't care. Like, I had a moment where I was like, don't do it, everybody is hating Crayola makeup, and I'm the dummy that like immediately ordered it, ordered a bunch of it, and and I watched the other videos. Ugh. I watched James Charles, things were breaking in half, things were disappointing, things were not blending, things were not pigmented. Jeffrey did a video, I watched that one. Oh my God, same thing. And then literally as I am sitting here ready to film, I see that Laura's posted a video and I'm just like, wow, everybody hates this makeup. Do I even want to open this box? Crayola? We all had faith in you. You know what, no, 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 no. I am actually going to be fair and I'm gonna give this my all. We are gonna give it a solid chance and we're just gonna see. I spent, uh, uh, I have about $200 of Crayola makeup in this box. Should've just waited and bought a Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette for 15 bucks, right? Ooh, ooh. So my first observation ordering from, is it ASOS or ASOS? I don't even know because I don't really order from them. Um, the packaging, ooh, it's like sticking to me. What? what? It doesn't appear as anything is broken in here. Sometimes Amazon sends you like one item in like an empty box and then you open it up and you're like, great, it's totally ruined. Okay, return label if I need it. Okay, so let me share with you guys what I selected and what I didn't. There are 56 items in total with this collection. It is super cute. You guys, I was like a Crayola coloring addict. Like I thought I was an artist from day one in any coloring book that I had. So I was always that person that loved a new set of crayons and this just feels so cute, right? How cute is that? This is great. And the name of this trio is Mermaid. So I believe these trios where you get three, instead of paying $14.50 for one, you are getting a bargain discount uh, because these are sold separately. I thought this was like a limited thing, but you can actually purchase the shade gold. I think this is steel blue and green separately. But if you buy the box set, you get it for the bargain price of $29, basically one for free. I wish that they had done like in my opinion, like a full collection. Like, wouldn't that have been so cool if they made them kind of shorter and they did like the actual box of crayons with like, you know, three rows. That would have been really, really cool. Okay, so I have that one in Mermaid. I have this in Wild Fruits. This is more for lips and cheeks, I believe. Very Cherry, Mango Tango, and Strawberry. Ombre, beautiful. This is the Crayola Beauty Mermaid Eyeshadow Palette. Clearly I was in a very mermaid mood when I was selecting these shades. I was like, blues, purples, pastels. Let's just go full kid with this. Okay, wow. That is all metallic, huh. We're gonna swatch, we're gonna play, we're gonna have fun with this. You do get a pretty generous mirror in here. There was no plastic in here at all, so there is a bunch of dust on the mirror. Packaging feels pretty sturdy and cute. And this is a $29 palette, and you get you know a bunch of different size pans in here, but you do get four larger pans and then six smaller on kind of the outskirts of those larger pans. These are the crayons. I was really excited for this. And again, I'm gonna try and be excited, but seeing James Charles like struggle with the black crayon and that it was like basically like waxy gray, just, I, I feel like, uh. One of the descriptions they put on the website, if you go there, it actually says, cute, right? Like question mark, like maybe? That was just kind of weird. Instead of like a long lasting formula that glides on the eyes and provides creamy coverage all day long. It was just like, oh, it's cute, right? I'm entertaining myself here, I need to stop. Okay, so they say that all of them are suitable for eyes, lips, and cheeks. They have a creamy texture. They are exclusive to ASOS or ASOS. Why do I want to say like Vsauce? And you heard it here first is also another bullet. So let's take a look at the shades that I selected. The individual shades, again, are $14.50. There are 38 of them on the site. These are good for 24 months. That's nice, right? Expiration thing is on there. 
You'll notice that I did not purchase any of the face sticks. I just, I don't know, I kind of had a feeling. I was like, that looks kind of like a greasy mess. The other thing that I noticed that was kind of odd about the presentation on the page that showed all the Crayola products was you'd see like a face stick and then kind of a few rows down, another face stick. It was just, I don't know, it didn't grab my attention at all. That's so cute. It is cute, right? Yeah, I agree. And I like a good shadow stick. I think it's really easy on your more on the go days to just kind of smudge in something on the lash line. It can look really cute, really quick. And I think there's a lot of versatility here. So we are going to swatch and try and play with all of these colors here. And I'm also going to test out the Crayola mascara. All right, class, where do we begin? I think I wanna begin by getting something on my lips. So let's swatch these ones right here. Strawberry. Oh, that's actually really nice. That's swatched really nice. Ooh, and it smells kind of fruity. You know what's funny though? Is my way to tell if a lip product has expired is if it starts to smell like a Crayola crayon. Okay, this one right here is called Mango Tango. I think if my memory is right, these are the actual Crayola Crayon names, right? That's super cute. So that actually is pretty smooth and nice. And then we also have Very Cherry. This is more of a deep, not so like bright cherry. Like this one matches my nails more. I'm gonna do Strawberry. This is more like a brick deep kind of a red. And let's just play with this guy right here. I'm actually kind of surprised that these are as smooth as they are. Maybe these are like not gonna be terrible. Maybe everybody ordered the wrong colors. And like, this is like the good one. Yeah, look at that, that's not bad. People. Okay, I like the tip. Mm. My lips look crooked, what? Why do I feel like whenever I get a little in the danger zone of overlining, like I'm edging on Miranda Sings right now, like it could be just one, one wrong move and we're there. Dang it. I like this color so much. I actually really, really love this color. The issue I'm having is even though this is a pencil and has that nice sharp tip where you should be able to line your lips and fill everything in, I feel like I could have used an actual lip liner because up close, it's just kind of bleeding. I really love this red though. I'm gonna have to try and find a dupe that is a better formula because this is like such a pretty color and it matches my nails right now. And I am wearing OPI So Hot It Burns and this is probably my favorite red polish. It's like that bright red that just, uh, it's just like the perfect red. All right, moving into eyes. I think we should just do like a good old arm swatch of all the shades and go from there. So this is black. Oh no, do you see that? Stop it, <gasps> no. Oh my God, I understand why everybody's freaking out now. I've got an on the spot dupe for you guys from the drugstore. This is from Rimmel. It will only set you back a handful of dollars and let's just watch. Right, do you see that? Crayola, wow, what were you thinking? Oh my gosh, I kind of felt bad that so many people were kind of like beating the crap out of this, but that is not even, that's just not even good. All right, then we have the shade Caramel. We have the shade Periwinkle. And that actually swatched kind of okay, I guess. We have Lilac, love that. These are just weird. I don't know, like the texture of it is not giving you that like punch of pigment that you normally would get from a product like this. That actually feels dry and I hate that color. Do you see how it's like dark and nice and rich and then you swatch it and it's like disappointing? Then we have Peachy Pink. That swatched pretty good. That swatched actually quite nice. Maybe you could use that on your lips. Let's crack into the Mermaid set right here. Okay, then we have green. Not terrible, but do you see like on the website and even the bullet of this is just like this rich, deep, like beautiful army green. And then you swatch it and it's kind of like four leaf clover, bright, vibrant green, which is nice, but not what I was expecting. Okay, then we have steel blue. I guess that one's not terrible. All right, gold come through for us because we need something good to work with here. All right, gold's not bad. 
That's actually pretty good. All right, so let's take a peek at this right here. I'm gonna clean my arm of these swatches and we'll go in and kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna start on the outer edge here. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. These are actually not bad. They're swatching really nice. I don't hate these. You know, the whole cute factor of it being Crayola, I mean, you don't really get that because this is just a palette. But I have to say, these are actually swatching really nice for just like the one finger swatch thing that I'm doing. I'm not rubbing back and forth. I'm just giving you guys a good straightforward swatch. Uh, that, one's, ooh, that one's actually awful. So that's the first color I have run into that is no good in this palette. We have two more left. That's pretty, a little dusty. And finally, this bright aqua blue. That one's actually quite vibrant, but it's a weird texture. It's like actually super creamy and dusty at the same time, but it blended, it blended out like going like this pretty nicely. Hmm, Crayola. What am I even gonna do for my look today? I kind of just wanna go all over the lid with this guy right here and then maybe put some of the sparklier guys on top do something really different for me and not like focus straight in the crease right away. So I'm going to attempt to build this up on the eye. All right, so the crayons, I can already tell just by the texture through swatching and through doing what I just did on my eyes. It is a no from me just because I think you can get much better pigmentation, texture, creaminess from the drugstore, and 1450 is just too much money to spend on these. It has a very waxy texture that I can already tell is gonna be difficult in terms of it creasing, and I'm just not a fan of that. So, oof. I wanna just kinda play around with some of the shades. I know I'm gonna look like a total nightmare disaster with the red lip and whatever I end up doing on the eyes, but I just kinda wanna see how these blend. So I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here, and we're just gonna try taking that in the crease just to kinda see what happens when you layer these shadows on top of the creamier product. I swear, I cannot talk and like do makeup at the same time. I'm like, and, uh, 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 and it takes me like 5,000 years to get what I want to say out. Okay. It's actually not bad. You know what they should have done though? Like just in my opinion, as I'm sitting here thinking of like the cute factor of this collection, which is a huge draw as to why people are ordering this, they should have done like the Crayola like watercolor type of a thing and put like the brush in the center and had like, you know, how they do their little watercolor set or markers, do you know what I'm saying? Like there's so much more that they could have done and it just feels like a missed opportunity. All right, so this, this is pretty terrible. This is a very bold look. Um, I think I wanna take this shade right here. None of this is matching. I just, I look like 100% amateur hour here, but I wanna take this really pretty shade that swatched so beautifully and had like a nice little kick of sparkle in it on the lid, just to kind of see. Ooh. That is a really, really pretty color. I would definitely use that again. Hmm. I'm like imagining different looks that I would do with the pink. I'm trying to like ignore the lip. Like if I had like a nice nude lip and I built up the crease a little bit more with something a little more neutral and matte, I think this is a really, really pretty and quite unusual pink actually. Okay, they did something right in this palette and actually the purple did blend pretty well. It's just not, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to find redemption in here, but it's all just kind of, eh, I don't know, buy at your own risk. 
Because at the end of the day, you really could just go to the drugstore and get like a Milani palette for around 10, 12 bucks. You could do the peach palette if you like these like shinier kind of peachy type shades right here. I'm just kind of thinking this whole collection was not really thought through that well. And I am understanding thoroughly why everybody had this like massive disappointment in it because it could have been so great. It feels thrown together, it just does. I am gonna take the black horrible liner. Holy smokes. Greasy and smooth and not pigmented at all. Okay, this is terrible, terrible. I think out of all of this, the black is the worst one because it doesn't even show up as black. Okay, so let's just for giggles. Wow, do I wanna use this? No, I don't. I am going to, I don't know, let's just ruin my look and see if this goes on the lower lash line well at all. We'll have to use our imagination and like imagine different scenarios where this kind of a thing would look good. That does not look good. I, I actually can't imagine a scenario right now. So I'm kind of mad at myself for what I'm doing at the moment. This is the like worst makeup. Damn, oh my God. Let's try the blue. Let's just make it even more terrible. You know what this shade looks like to me? It looks like when you try to remove a really intense blue eyeshadow or blue product and you can't, like there's that like part of it that just won't wipe away and it stained your skin. That's what this shade reminds me of. I'm gonna pop on the mascara and then I am gonna try on one other of the lip products, but we know where this is all headed. This is a $16 mascara. Nope, nope. Nope. Okay, we're gonna try the more orangey coral shade. This is called Mango Tango. This has like straight up silver glitter in it. It's just, is that how the Mango Tango one is? Maybe, I don't know, it's kind of weird. You know what else I'm really happy that I didn't buy? The brush set, you guys, $40. And it looks like something that you would pick up at Claire's. Like, rest in peace, Claire's. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they're out of business. But do you know what I'm saying? It looked like kid makeup, like for real. Like, I know this kind of all looks like kid makeup, but it really looked not great in the quality department. And for $40, like it should have been like eight. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and find a dupe really quickly, like on the spot for the strawberry shade because I really did like this shade of a lip color and I think the vibrancy of it is like just right. So let me see if I can find something in my chest of secrets of 5,000 lip products and I will be right back. But yeah, the lip products might be the only thing I like. Shoot, dang, this is bad. And I did it on the spot. I'm sure this is less expensive. I hope this is still available, but Bossy from ColourPop, actually let's confirm that. But it is like, bam, bam. Really, really close, much creamier, better application. Hey, okay, for $5.50, you can get this shade right here. This is Bossy from ColourPop. I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot because I love that shade. Look how beautiful that is. And then right next to it, I'm gonna put Strawberry. Also really beautiful. This one has just a little more pink in it, but they are very close. This one's much richer, quicker. Like if you wanna build this up, I'm sure it'd end up being a little bit darker like this one right here. But I would just recommend going with a ColourPop lippy stick for $5 and change and not spending $14.50 on the Crayola one that really had an issue kind of bleeding outside of the lines. I guess I'll just show you some other reds while we're here that I really like that are similar but not spot on. J-Cat makes a great one, soft matte lip color. This is in the shade Frosty Raspberry from L'Oreal. We have the eight hour pro gloss if you want a glossy look and that kind of a brighter red. And this is in the shade Red Fatale. And then from Revlon, we have number 660 and this is their ultra matte lip color. So those are some good kind of drugstore reds, different finishes. 
I'm just all in all just not a fan of this collection. And watching a little bit of what I saw like kind of go down online beforehand made me feel like I wouldn't like it. A lot of the times I do try to not pay attention to what's going on so I can really very clearly give my own opinion, but I failed in that department and uh, I'm sorry if I went into this a little bit hard straight away, but that is why. And yeah, you guys be mindful when you are purchasing these kind of collections that have some type of a, I don't want to say like hokey pokey, but they have that theme going strong, you know, watch a few reviews, dig around a little bit because a lot of the time with these kind of things, you are paying for the packaging exclusively. And that's where a lot of the creative and thought goes instead of the formula. And I love good packaging, but it really should be the other way around. All right, there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. If you did, be sure to like the video, subscribe, ring the notification bell and hit all so that you see my videos Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I am here at 10 a.m. PST and I hope to see you then. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.